In this video, we are going to analyze what are some common MongoDB terms. The terms we will look at will include document, field, collection, referencing, embedding, and cursor. First of all, let's have a look at document. As you can see, the document is the basic unit of organization within the MongoDB database. As mentioned in other videos, Documents are represented as JSON and then ultimately converted into a binary format referred to as BISON. Within each document, we have individual fields. As you can see from this example, we have name, date, and cost. The field is the smallest item of data within the MongoDB document. Documents are then organized into groups, which are referred to as a collection. It's expected that each document within the collection will have a unique set of data. There should be some commonality, of course, in that each of the documents should belong to the connection for some logical reason. It's possible for the purposes of modeling your data that you might want to have relationships established between different documents in different collections. For this purpose, MongoDB has a capability referred to as referencing. In this example, we've got a purchase ID in one document which relates to the purchase ID in a document in a different collection. That document in turn has a relationship through item ID with yet a third document in another collection. The overall result is that Smith purchased on 2014 January 1st item 8888 which is a t-shirt of size XL. As an alternative to referencing, however, it's quite possible that you might want to bring the data closer to the actual source of the information. In this example, we take one document and embed it in another document. So we have the same idea, Smith, with a purchase date of 2014, January 1st, purchasing a t-shirt of size XL. However, since the information is represented as an embedded document, it's much closer to the original source of the information. There are several advantages and disadvantages to this approach. The advantage is that it's much easier to structure your information if it's embedded. Also, the data, because it's closer to the original source, is easier to search. The disadvantage is that the documents can grow in size. This is referred to as the document growth problem. The final concept we will examine is that of the cursor. In this example, we have a collection upon which a database query has been performed using find. Find returns an object referred to as a cursor. You then iterate through the cursor to produce the final result set. So in this example, we are looking for a city with the designation NY. We can then iterate through the cursor, which will then give us all of the documents where the city designation is NY. Let's now turn to a terminal window and have a look at the result on the MongoDB database itself. First of all, we type in Mongo to access the MongoDB command shell. We then select our database. We can now look at the various collections. Let's now perform a query using find, which will use the cursor to display results. So as you can see, we are looking at a series of documents. Let's now look for one specific document. We will reissue our find command. However, we will add some specific information to find. We are now looking for a city, Bella Vista. We are now looking at a single document. Within the document, you'll notice the various fields, ID, first name, surname, gender, etc. Internally, MongoDB uses the cursor to iterate through the result set and presents the results to us directly on the screen. So in review, what are some common MongoDB terms? A document is the basic unit of data. It's based on objects which are represented as JSON and ultimately stored in a binary format called BISON. Documents can have one or more fields. They are then grouped together as collections. The field is the smallest subdivision within the document. It's analogous to a relational database table. The collection is a group of documents which are logically related. It's similar to a relational database table. The collection exists within a MongoDB database. Bear in mind that the documents have no fixed or rigid schema. However, they should have a logical relationship amongst themselves. Referencing is a way to represent one-to-many 
and also one-to-one -one relationships. It uses a more efficient storage algorithm, which also allows for what is called a normalized data structure. However, referencing is slower and less efficient to read. Embedding is much better in terms of performance. It lets you represent complex denormalized models, which can represent one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships. It brings the data to where it is needed. One problem, however, with embedding is what is referred to as document growth. This can affect data rights and ultimately risk fragmentation of the database. The cursor is a mechanism which is used to iterate through results of a query. It's typically produced by using the find command. There are further operations which are possible upon the cursor. These include things such as sorting, placing limits, and other possibilities which will be discussed in future video. This concludes our discussion of what are some common MongoDB terms.